welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great out there um in today's video i want to share my thoughts on the current situation that is going on i am really not comfortable to be talking about all these issues because emotionally i feel it's very disturbing and like i'm not strong enough to be talking about this and sharing it with you guys this but i decided that it's only right that i also share my thoughts on this with the recent racism that was going on with Bara Singh and then with the other two YouTubers and we all know that that is just the tip of the iceberg if you are a naughty citizen here you know that we have faced so much experience on racism on a daily basis um, but I'm very glad that actions were taken upon him and this will be a lesson for everyone else out there that racism is not okay no amount of racism is okay I read in like a few comments saying that people are like naughty people are overreacting it's not even a big deal you guys are exaggerating but i just want to say that one small incident can have a bigger impact on the future one small change can make like bigger changes in the future you know there's a term called the butterfly effect and the butterfly flaps its wing in the amazonian jungle and subsequently a storm ravages half of europe so it means that little things add up to bigger things uh, one small um a change can lead to bigger changes in the future so it was very important that action was taken upon it and i am really surprised and happy that every one of you stood together i saw the unity um in fact i didn't even know about the situation my followers sent me on dm on instagram and that's how i heard about it i'm so proud of you guys for standing together it's only because of you guys that you know they he got arrested so fast and action was taken so fast if you guys have been quiet about it no actions would have been taken so i'm so proud of you guys uh, um the saddest thing was that no mainstream media was covering this news about this racism uh, when i heard about it from a follower of mine i went to the internet and i tried to google it but i could not find any news that's when i asked one follower of mine to like send me like any news regarding this racist comment and that's where i found this page called the northeastern chronicle and they had so many news about this thing and i shared that on my instagram apparently and and that's how I heard about it. Mainstream media did not care about it. It was only the um, um, Northeastern people and only the Northeastern page and media that was covering about it. That is really, really sad. I mean, I mean, how long are we in India for? Since independence, it's been a long time, you know. But nobody cares. And you know, just as this was happening, I there was this viral video that uh, about this girl being raped and sexually abused i mean i got it on my whatsapp and i was so disturbed i could not even watch it uh i just saw like the beginning parts and i had to like stop watching it because it was too disturbing i mean it's such inhuman behavior no one no one deserves to be treated like that and it is so um scary because it could have been you and me and i saw in the video that a girl was also involved and that is the saddest thing that a girl was also there i just want to mention to all my girls out there that if you have a certain group of boy guy friends and if you're ever with them and if you ever hear them talk about a girl and um say that it's just guys talk you know there's a term just it's just guys so we're just talking about um guys and we girls also say it's just girls talk and we talk about guys i mean that's not okay we should that's the least we can do as a girl if you have a guy friend if you have guy friends who have talks like this about girls please tell them it's not okay because as i said little things add up one small change can make bigger changes happen in the future so please make sure that you also educate your guy friends upon it and say that it is really disturbing and it is not okay at this time while making this video i don't know where the girl is uh, we don't even have a clear idea where she's from be it from northeast from anyone it's not okay you know it's about just inhuman behavior and i just pray that she receives justice and then god is with her i just wanted to share an incident of mine that happened to me when i first moved to delhi in the first few months i was in 11 standard i came to do 11 standard here and i went to open a bank account um in punjab national bank it was in west delhi and um uh at that time we had our own house and when i went to make open a bank account uh the person who was there was around like 50 60 age and he asked me bank account you call now so i was like uh you know 
we're living in a, a digital world we all need bank accounts even if you're a student or not we need bank accounts and he just laughed and he said do you have the document because you need your you know how uh, address proof do you even have an address proof and i had all my address proof in fact it was our house that i was staying in so when i showed him the documents he he laughed like this is your house how did you get this house what does your father do like what are you doing here he asked me all sorts of comments and now that i'm saying it it seems so simple but at the time when he was interrogating me i felt so intimidated i was just a kid and i didn't even know so i just went back home just and i just went back home not opening up a bank account and it was like months after my cousin brother i mean christopher he came and we went to state bank of india together and that's when we opened account um you know and there is another inc incident when i went to watch movie and this was also happened in 11 standard and i was waiting in the um popcorn area i went to buy popcorn and this um those people who were giving me popcorns they were like hindi uh, like they were speaking right in front of me i just stood there like an idiot just standing there and i took my popcorn and i went back inside just feeling really scared and feeling really unsafe and feeling really out of this place um i just went back home so that was the two incidents when i was younger and that i felt really intimidated now i don't give any chance now if i see anybody say anything i just speak up i talk about it you know but before i guess i was just like really intimidated and it is a really scary thing um i don't ever know how we're gonna change this because uh, it's not there we're not there in our books when I was in school, 11, all the kids, they would come to me and say, Didi, Didi, you from China? You from Japan? You from China? And it's not their fault, honestly, because they don't know. All kids are taught is that India looks like one, but apparently India, we don't look like one. We have a lot of diversity, a lot of different culture, a lot of different The least we can do now is that if you have a mainland friend, like a Delhi Hyde, a Bangalore, Mumbai, whatever, if you have an mainland friend who is not aware about northeast you know just make sure you give this concern to your friend at least because him or her being a friend they would understand your point of view and if you do this one by bit and if you tell that mainland friend of yours that i am feeling this kind every day and i feel unsafe then he will educate his family he will educate his other friends and then their other friends can educate the other friends and that's how it's gonna go on at least um make sure you make lots of mainland indian friends especially living in delhi especially living in the cities it's very important that we don't stick to our group alone it's also important that you make friends out of your circle and you get comfortable with them as well and that's the bit we can do make them comfortable with you um you can only hope and pray that things do get better because i have amazing friends that are really good to me in my school all my teachers were very nice to me all my delhi friends in school were very sweet and very nice to me and i did my best to tell them that outside school i face this kind of racism and they also get really mad and when i hang around with them uh, you know they make me feel really safe and it is really nice so the least we can do is make more friends with them and tell them our concern then they can you know pass it on like i said a small change can make bigger changes in the future um to all my fellow northeastern out there i can only give my wishes i feel helpless that i can't do much but together we can do so much i'm so proud of you for uh taking a stand and being a voice for everyone even though i was late in making this video you guys have brought so much changes um fingers crossed that you know our voices are heard more and fingers crossed that um things do get better uh, you know let's all be positive and there are really good people out there it's just a few people that are just ignorant so and let's pray that it becomes a safer place for women i just while making this video in fact i just got a news that another girl was raped she was a covid patient she was a covid patient or something and the 
uh, emergency cab driver said that he would give him food and they took her somewhere secluded and they raped her again so you know these cases it's always there everywhere I just feel really sad and unsafe please take care um, I pray that everything gets better um, and I will see you guys soon okay.